Welcome people of planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh and my family and I buy and sell things we find from thrift stores, yard sales, garage sales, flea markets, whatever we can find. And we flip them on to sites like eBay, uh, Depop, Grail, and wherever we can find to sell. And these are our top five thrift finds that we found for reselling this week. So let's take a look at the list. So this week was a little bit slower, had some stuff on the schedule, was watching my nieces and nephews for a good part of the week, so it took a little bit of a time out of the thrifting schedule, but we did pick up a few things, and the first thing we picked up, uh, you'll probably be surprised because it's not quite, you know, jacket season anymore, but that's why we got it, and that's this split end, I think it's called, yeah, split end, uh, like this is rabbit fur uh, jacket, this full zip jacket, but the reason I picked this up is obviously not because it's like about to be popular, but it was 25 cents. One of the thrift stores that we were buying from was selling this for 25 cents. I will spend 25 cents on a, uh, you know, a fur coat any day. Um, we'll probably end up getting something like, you know, 30, 40, 50 dollars for this when it gets warmer again. Uh, but it's a cool sort of little stylish thing from the 80s. It is rabbit fur, you can tell it's a bit longer and it's very, very, very soft. Um, it also sheds a little bit, unfortunately, but in pretty good condition for a quarter. That's an easy buy for me. Now at number four, we have Lauren Ralph Lauren, this pair of women's jeans right here. Uh, not a brand that I normally pick up, but look at this print. It's got all the horse bridle stuff. Um, all the, it's got like a horseshoes, horseshoe hardware right here, it's like a little ring holder. I mean, this is pretty cool. This is probably one of the cooler Ralph, uh, Lauren Ralph Lauren pieces you can find. I believe I've actually sold this in the past. Uh, I think we probably got something like 35, 45 for it. So hopefully we'll get that for this one, uh, but only paid like $2 for it. So uh, this is a pretty easy profit right here. Now at number three, we have shoes. We have these Fly London like boot booty heels. Uh, Fly London is a great brand to look out for. Uh, pretty high quality shoes, real stylish. Um, these are in fantastic condition. They have little bugs like on them. We paid six dollars for them. I have sold Fly London shoes anywhere from like forty all the way to one hundred and forty dollars. So um, a good find here in fantastic condition. It's kind of funny because there's a thrift store. It's the only thrift store I've ever bought Fly London from. Um, strangely enough. And it's like, I guess somebody who regularly donates to them, buys Fly London shoes a lot, wears them very little, and donates them without any sort of, hardly any sort of flaws. But I've probably bought five or six pairs from this one thrift store. I don't think I've ever found them anywhere else. So uh, still, it's a great buy. Uh, six bucks, probably into something like 50 or 60. So uh, really look out for these. So number two and number one here were found at the same time. I'll show you the first one here first. and this. This dope Yale polo team on the Gear for Sports uh, vintage tag. It's got a few stains. Uh, I'm not exactly sure on like the value of this piece. Like I said, a few little stains here and there we might be able to clean up. But uh, that's just super cool. Like vintage Yale polo team. Like Ivy League schools. This stuff sells pretty well. Stuff I've seen similar goes for like $40 to $60. So um, got this for a... 50 cents so uh, pretty excited about that especially for that price no 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 no. I got this for a quarter actually they even discounted it even further so we got this for a quarter T today is quarter week um, so uh, pretty impressive right here we'll probably get 40 bucks for it or something like 40 to 50 dollars so uh, pretty cool now before we get to number one I do want to remind you that we have a live stream Mondays at 7 p.m. where we live dig in mystery bags for vintage t-shirts we buy these mystery bags from local thrift stores have a bunch of their rags and their t-shirts and we dig through them for vintage t-shirts and we have found some bangers in the past and you know who knows what we'll have this week it's always a mystery come hang out ask questions uh, talk to other vintage reseller heads and uh, maybe uh, make a friend or two uh, hope to see you there all right now at number one from that same haul of sweatshirts that were a quarter we have this vintage Harvard uh, crew neck on the Nike tag, on the vintage Nike tag. Uh, a little bit surprised, uh, honestly. It feels a little bit thin material to be the Nike, vintage Nike tag, but I could totally be wrong about that. It is a 50-50 blend. I'm not sure if they ever did that, but if they did, uh, it's right here, made in the USA, Harvard. Unfortunately, no center check or anything like that, which would have probably put this in the stratosphere as far as price. 
Uh, but similar items do sell something in the like 50, 60, 70 dollar range. So uh, super dope on the Nike tag. Uh, found this for a quarter. I mean, I think in total we probably spent uh, eight dollars on our top five finds this week. That's pretty incredible. Uh, uh, that's a huge profit margin on the flip side. So hopefully we'll be making lots of money on these items. And whenever you can find stuff for a quarter, uh, it just definitely makes your week, makes your day, makes your month even sometimes. So definitely glad to have found these things. And if you would be so kind, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.